Welcome back fans and friends. Just as a follow-up to the other video, I have here another Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, but this one is the 1971. So this is the end of the third generation. And this one, obviously brought to us by Greenlight, is their Tur Tokyo Torque series. And this is Series 7. And there you have the Speed, the 8 Plus, 164. It contains one die-cast car, limited edition, die-cast metal chases, and then the French of that. And as we can see, it is the die-cast numbers printed right in the middle there, 0627. Uh, other than that, this is, I think, the perhaps first of these I've done. Anyway, so we have the staples here that happen to appear in many of, if not all, of the uh, Tokyo Torque series. From what I see, I have another one, a little bit of an earlier one. And that it's a Datsun 510, and you can see there's two here, Nissan Patrol, another standard. They include some sort of a Skyline, sometimes an R35, and usually the Titan. It's strange, though, that they don't have any of the licensing for Toyota to put, like, Toyota vehicles. But that's up to green light, not to me. And so here we have officially licensed pr product of BRE and Nissan Morocco. We have the normal stuff. The, we will be checking the production date, so... This is obviously 2019 and 252nd day of that year. The 1456-2M, 164-8+, that contains one entire guy's car, all their social media stuff. They're telling you it's Series 7. And the green light and a shot of the Tokyo skyline. Which is a double pun not intended, but here we are. So, uh, here's a just in contrast. The previous video I did was that uh, 2000 GTR from Hot Wheels, but that is the generation, it's a, like a half generation afterwards. Uh, as we all know, these things were great for racing and great for driving. They retain most, if not all, of their value. Uh, the one big thing, though, that I don't like with this Skyline is uh, the front of it. We'll just start at the bottom, because why not? So there we have 225, 219. 14526M and 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. The the printing is very small. I don't know why. And it is a green light 2018. So it's just a recasting, but it's only a year, only a year into the recasting. Uh, there we have the transmission, and I must say, speaking about this green light, and I have the previous one here. I think Hot Wheels did a way better job with their underside on this one, which is a basic, than this thing, which is not a basic. And the wheels are much the skinny type, not the usual green light uh, wider tires. So we'll just move to the front, where we have, it looks like a bubble paint job on the lights. License plate blank. The grille is very shallow, very basic. Doesn't appear to or any other like look at that it's just it's not even grilled nothing else you can sort of see in there something but it's not clearly legible i was kind of hoping because it does look like there are cutouts for the hood but i cannot oh, for the life of me wrench it open for the fear of breaking it so i will just leave it at that it doesn't unfortunate because i would have liked to see the inside of the um engine to contrast it with I have the M2 uh, of this so I will bring that up later in a comparison video we have right hand drive nice and clear windshield the plastic for the windshield anyway it's full see the side panel this is the normal thing green light does with their plastic it's really hard to see through and co compare that to the front we just see right through it so I don't understand why they constantly and there you have the I would assume it's the bar for racing, the safety bar, but anyway. So other than that, we have a separate bolt-in glued spoiler. Uh, we have the rear there. No mention of sky, Skyline whatsoever. There's the exhaust. The lights. Just a contrast. And then other than that, we can go each side. PCMS and NGK, so the spark plug company. Exactly on either side, the same. We have those same two little indents as the later generation has over there. They're not they're not based off the same, but they're not the same model, obviously. This is 1971, that's 1973. 
and the racing number 23 and I've already covered the bottom uh, so just briefly it'll be 0627 as a limited edition number the GL number is GL 143 and not 140A or not 145 it is 1 it could pass for 148 let's just say it's 148 it looks like it's 148 so not 143 and not 145 so there we have it a ni nice looking but obviously there are some things that I would hope that in the future they do better because usually with these little print things they're very good with it as you can see the STP and the B the other thing in the front there let me just see if I can <laughs> skyline so it has a skyline with a little heart around it but it is readable meanwhile they have this here and it's not readable so anyway so I will see it later on if the hood does pop open if I do I will release in one uh, a short video and once again uh, green light that rolls so that's great so I have nothing except for the lack of rear view mirrors the bubble lights that having nothing on it the plain license plate so I guess there's a few things and they could have put Skyline or at least GTR like they did on that one. I understand it's a racing car, but still. All right, fans and friends, this is Tumnus from Toronto, having brought you the Tokyo Torque Series 7 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR 1971 edition. Thank you for watching, and till the next one.